It's zucchini season right now, and if you're growing them in your garden or getting them from friends, don't worry, they will actually last a really long time. So make sure that you follow these tips and I'll teach you how. If you don't know, my name is Amy Cross and I am the founder of The Cross Legacy and I went viral teaching produce hacks. Zucchini are one of the items in our best-selling book, I Bought It, Now It. Zucchini seem like they come in two sizes. There's either the big, large leg sizes that come out of your garden, or you get a normal size zucchini that's about the size of a cucumber so we have a yellow golden zucchini here or just the regular green zucchini all right zucchinis we are going to clean with five percent distilled white vinegar like we do a lot of the other produce items so since some of these are so big I put it in a large tub to wash the zucchinis I always make sure it is a quarter cup of 5% distilled white vinegar to 10 cups of water. So if I'm using a larger tub, I just multiply that. So about half a cup of vinegar to 20 cups of water. And these will also bob around in the water. So you have to keep pushing them back down and flipping them over during the two minute process so you can get it clean on all of the different sizes. So by washing them when you bring them in, you're killing off any of the mold spores, E. coli, listeria, and any other harmful pathogens on them and also getting the dirt off of your zucchini. But these leg size humongous zucchinis will actually last in your pantry for months so i normally get them this time in the fall and they will last all the way until like january and then i'm kind of tired of them being in my pantry and then i'll make sure that i use them up or i put them in the freezer and i'll teach you how in a second but for laying in the pantry i will lay them on a piece of cardboard or some shopping bags like brown paper shopping bags and then every time i go into the pantry to get an onion that seems to be when i remember to do it i just kind of check all my squashes that are in there and I rotate them around so I don't get any soft spots on them. So these larger ones will be in my pantry for months. Now these smaller ones are ones that after I wash and make sure that they're dry, I'm going to put it in my vegetable crisper drawer. So you don't wanna store vegetables and fruit together. So these would stay, in my case, on the left-hand side of my refrigerator in my vegetable crisper drawer. Those I want to make sure that I use sooner. So I'm going to kind of move this over here. These smaller zucchinis are only gonna last like a month or so. And again, you are bringing them home. If you got them at the grocery store and they were in a plastic bag, like definitely get them out of the plastic bag. You're washing them. When I go to the grocery store, I use our reusable mesh and muslin produce bags, um, which are breathable. So some items that I'm storing like cabbage, I can actually keep in the refrigerator. I can keep them in our produce bags and they'll stay fresher longer. But these um, zucchini, you can use them for things like making zucchini boats. You can cut up zucchini and sneak it into things like your ground hamburger into recipes and that will help extend the serving sizes so it'll help feed more people. My husband didn't even know until I started YouTube that I always put either cauliflower or zucchini in any ground beef that I ever make and he he's like never known for 25 years that I had always done that. So I was able to get some more vegetables in him and extend our serving sizes out. For things like these smaller zucchinis, I like to keep them whole as long as possible. And then when I'm planning on using them, then I'll decide how I want to cut them up. So I either like to dice them and put them in the oven or I'm putting it into ground ground meat um, to eat them that way. Or we shred them and we use them to make things like this low sugar zucchini bread that you can also make gluten-free. So we had this last night. There's like a piece still here that we'll probably eat after we get done filming today. But the zucchini, when I want to make zucchini bread, for this, I will actually shred it up um, to put into the bread. But since I use a cup and a half serving size for these recipes, whenever I'm shredding it up to put it into the freezer, I always shred it and then I'll squeeze out any extra moisture that's in it with a paper towel or a cheesecloth and then put it into a freezer bag that can go into the freezer in a cup and a half 
portion size. So that way I know it's the perfect amount to just put into my recipe for my zucchini bread. So when I'm going to use really large zucchinis like this and wanting to process it, I definitely will shred this and I'll put it away in the freezer in those portion sizes. So a little bit of planning ahead like that will help you down the road when you're wanting to make items later and you have the ingredients fresh in your refrigerator and freezer. While we're on the topic of stretching serving sizes and using the items that we have so they don't go to waste, there's tips and tricks on how to make batch cooked items in our grocery solution course that will help you use single ingredient items and be able to batch cook things like zucchini boats. So you only have to cook dinner once and have meals for multiple nights. Make sure that you check that out. That's listed below in the description for our courses of the Grocery Solution and the Hope Project. If you found value in this content today, make sure that you hit subscribe and you comment below. And if you comment the produce item that you struggle with the most, I will reply back with a link to teach you how to keep that fresh longer.